To render a 1080p video in After Effects, you want to go up to File, down to Export, and add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. You want to make sure that in the queue, you have yourself the Comp 1. This will automatically load up, but if yours doesn't, you can always go to the plus icon, find yourself where the project is, and then click on Open. You want to select which composition you've been working on. So mine is called Comp 1. Click on OK. And there we go. We now have the project loaded. The next thing we need to do is we need to customize the settings. So if you click on Match Source, starting off with the first thing, make sure that the format is H.264. Click on the name to give it a name and set yourself a location. So I'm just going to overwrite this one. Click on yes if you want to overwrite it and you want to select yourself if you want the video and audio to be included. Now, when it comes to the settings, the most important ones are video, audio and multiplexer. If you go to the video first, we can untick this and set the size of it to 1920 times 1080. Underneath this, we can change the frame rate. So if you want to have 24, 25, 30, or 60 FPS, change it in here. You can leave the field order and scroll down to the encoding settings. With the encoding, if you have a dedicated graphics card, then you can use hardware encoding. And we're going to untick this and set the profile to high. Leave the levels on 4.2, scroll further down and get yourself into the bit rate. With the bit rate, we're going to select the encoding Set it to VBR 2 pass. This is going to basically allow you to have the target and the maximum bitrate. If you don't know what the bitrate is, it is what determines the quality of your video and it also compresses down your video so the file sizes aren't huge. So by default, YouTube recommends for a HDR video that is 1080p 60fps to have a target bitrate of 10 and a maximum of somewhere around 15. Once you've done that, we can scroll all the way down to the bottom. We can leave these ones and then move on to the audio. Make sure that the audio is on AAC. 48,000. Keep it on stereo and set the bitrate to 384. Moving over to the multiplexer, make sure it's on MP4 standard. You can click on the save preset and give this any name you want. So we're going to call this YouTube 1080p. Tick both of these and then click on OK. You can then click on OK. And once you're ready to render your video, you can select yourself the renderer as the CUDA if you have a NVIDIA graphics card. Select yourself the preset that you've just created. And once you're ready, click on the green enter button. And that's pretty much it. That's how you render a 1080p video in After Effects.